Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I'm going to be planting some Parisian carrots in this bed right here. That's these. They're small little carrots. They have just a little ball, and the tops are actually quite short. They're not really large, which is going to be perfect for this. So I just recently harvested some turnip here, and before I harvested those, I had planted a whole bunch of onions through here. Now, the onions are spaced out in a way where I can get these Parisian carrots right in between, and I love growing carrots. They're perfect for the winter time and they can handle pretty cold temperatures. In fact, some of them down to like eight degrees. So today is December 22nd, so we can keep track of how long it takes for these to grow. And as you can see, I've got rows here. This is a row of onion. There's another row of onion, onion. Um, actually, some of these are leeks, some are bunching onions, but you get the idea. And I've got spacing in between that would allow for some carrots. Now, there's not a lot of space, but the tops really only grow about yay tall, at least the last time I grew them, and they only span out about yay wide. So, and they're quite sparse, so it's not like dense, heavy leaves. Still is going to allow a lot of light in for these onions to grow, but it also takes a while for these to get large. So I believe that uh, this should be fine. And as you can see here, I've got a lot of deep holes in this because I just harvested, these were daikon radishes here. So I'm going to flatten that out. And the nice thing about radishes and carrots is that they have deep tap roots. I mean, you're harvesting them for the root and they kind of do tilling for you, break up that soil and make it nice. So I'm gonna flatten this out, make it nice and even because carrot seeds are real small and need to be planted, not very deep. Want this to be nice and even. Now where I live, there is really no pests for carrots. And one nice thing about planting things in between onions is that onions kind of deter a lot of the pests. In Europe, I believe they have a lot of problems with carrot flies, I think they call them, um, but we just don't have that here. So I'm gonna start with the trench. We're just going to light little trench, nothing real, real deep. And we're just utilizing as much of the beds as possible. You know, I've got a small little plot of land here. It's not like I've, I'm growing acres and acres and acres. So I try to get as much as I can with each of these beds. And if you companion plant correctly, you can utilize quite a bit of space here. Now you might wonder why not here. I have those much closer together than these rows for the onions. So I think it's only going to be these four rows, I'm going to plant these carrots. I mean, if you guys are following the channel, you see me plant carrots a bunch of times, but they're really one of my favorite things to plant in the winter here. They just do so well. They come out super sweet, way sweeter than what you can get at the grocery store. So my kids love them, something the whole family eats. You know, some of these veggies my kids are not stoked about, like broccoli. Here we go. All right, open up. Okay, caution. There is a dangerous smell, people. Which, hold on, guys. It's broccoli! <laughs> yes! Which also do quite well in the winter. I mean, what kid likes broccoli, I guess? But they do like the carrots. So it allows me to get healthier food in for the kids. And they tend to eat the stuff that we grow a lot better than stuff from the grocery store because they feel like they were a part of it. I kind of overseeded some of these, I'm going to be honest, which I always do. And if you've been watching, you know that I actually like to overseed because I can use the little baby carrots or whatever I'm growing, baby lettuce or spinach or whatever, and pull those out if they're too densely packed in. There we go, they're all seeded. Get these back in the seed packet so we don't waste. I'm sure I'm going to be planting more of them before the season's over. And next year, of course. And simple, we're just gonna cover them back over. What are you doing? I'm burying you. Oh, alive! Close your eyes. Let the dirt just shower over you. For now, when you cover carrots, you definitely don't wanna cover them super deep. Pat that down, give a little contact so there's no air pockets. Makes them all germinate better, at least I have found. And again, just a sprinkling of dirt on top. So we're leaving that trench a little bit. Now we can then Build that trench up a little bit later once they sprout. Cover a little more up the up that root. Keep the tops from turning green. So we're gonna give them a couple days. It actually takes about 10 to 15 days for carrots to sprout up. They're pretty slow for sprouting. But once they get up and they start growing their first sets of true leaves, then they really start growing quick. But it does take them a while. That first set of true leaves is like three weeks before that happens, maybe more. I'll bring you guys back in a couple weeks. Much later. So finally, some of these carrots have sprouted. It took quite a while because they're carrots and it's been cold. So they're a little bit slower to grow. I'll bring you guys in. You guys can see 
what we got going on here. All right, so today is January 4th and I finally got some sprouts. They're small and there's not a lot of them. That's pretty exciting. So finally, all these Parisian carrots, that's what I planted. Uh, it's all Parisian just because they don't get too big. I've got another two months or so until I can harvest these, but I wanted to show you guys I finally got them to sprout, especially this row. We've got them kind of coming up here and there in the, these two rows. And probably over the next day or two, I'll get most all of them to sprout up. But definitely right here, you can see there's quite a few along this line so so i'll bring you guys back in a couple months once i start harvesting these and give you guys updates to let you know if they're intruding into my onions here definitely we don't want that because this bed mostly is just onions but i wanted to kind of utilize all the space here i did have enough room here to be able to plant some i think hopefully but definitely i'll bring you back in if there's no hiccups in about two months and you guys can see me harvest these see how they went the next day all right so it is january 5th just one day after I came in and showed you guys, but almost all of these rows now have little carrot seedlings sprouting. So there we go. Now the next thing I'm going to do, because I'm noticing there are spots where there's quite a few of them, I'm going to have to start thinning these out. And when they're young like this, you can just pull them right out of the ground, which I will, but I'm going to leave extras. And then once they grow a little bigger, I can decide which ones are the best starts. I'll bring you guys back for that in a couple weeks. Once I'm ready to start cutting the slow starts away and thinning these out perfectly. But until then, thanks for watching everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and also hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you try to escape the daily grind.